Hey guys, this is Chad with round two. So we're coming back for our uh, product spotlight video. This is for September 2019. And there's a lot of great stuff for you guys this month. We've got six new uh, car model kits for you guys coming out. Uh, new accessory decal sheet for model kits. There's a new release for Johnny Lightning uh, 164th, the new Street Freaks release that's coming out. Uh, we got new two new 118 scale Auto World cars and a new Auto World Thunderjet slot car release. So we're going to jump in and get started and show you guys model kits. All right, so first off for model kits, uh, this is a really neat one that we've got coming out. This is the uh, our 1963 Chevy Impala SS hardtop kit. So some of the uh, great new features with this kit, uh, this is a four-in-one kit. So you can build it in uh, four different ways. You can build it as a stock uh, version, as a drag car, uh, as a custom and as the advanced custom version. So some of the things that we've added to this kit, um, we did uh, retool the hood to do the advanced custom version that we hadn't been able to do before. We tooled a new firewall for this that was never in the kit. Uh, the new uh, master brake cylinder, a new battery, and some other parts too that had always been missing. So this comes with a whole lot of different features. Uh, also added a new decal sheet. You can do um, different parts for the custom versions like uh, racing seats, roll cages, stock bucket seats, um, different types of exhaust with side pipes and even like little TVs and record players and uh, other cool little features that come along with this kit. And there's a look at the parts tree on the back for that one. So this is one we're really excited about. See what you guys build out of it. Next up, we also have the surf wagon. This is the 1965 Chevelle surf wagon. So some of the cool things about this, um, you can also build this kit in one of four different ways. So there's a few, um, a few variations here that you can see. You can do a custom version, you can do a drag version, you can do a stock version, and you can do the uh, surf wagon. So we have redone the, uh, the decal sheet for this, added some cool uh, tiki decals, some wood uh, paneling on the side if you wanna do the wood grain. And we also have uh, retooled a couple things for this kit. These surfboards, uh, the tooling was lost for that, so we retooled those surfboards. Uh, and the roof rack was actually never part of this kit before. That's a brand new tool that was added. Um, when this was released in the past, it, it didn't have the roof rack. It just had the surfboards on it. So this is another one. You can get a look at the uh, parts tree on the back here. Another kit we're really excited about. See all the cool customs that you guys build with this version. Next up also, we've got the MPC 1967 Pontiac GTO Weekend Warrior. So uh, some of the cool things with this kit, we have um, retooled and added back in the new uh, tree, perch tree, or the new uh, Christmas tree that comes with the kit for the, uh, for the drag version. It's got that blown engine, fire extinguisher, and we did add drag slicks to the kit as well. You can see some of the racing seats and some of the other cool options that come with it. And there's a look at the parts tree for that kit also. And next, sticking with racing kits, this is the AMT Plymouth Valiant Scamp Kit. Uh, Chrysler Short Track Late Model Sportsman. So uh, some of the cool things about this kit, it comes with the optional chin spoiler. Uh, kept that vintage style packaging. And this box art hasn't been... Uh, Hasn't been seen in a very long time for that kit. So it's got a lot of cool options with it. Um, comes with obviously the roll bar and all the uh, all the stock car racing stuff and the rear spoiler, stock car wheels, all that cool stuff. And a look at the parts tree for that kit as well. And next up we also have the 1969 Dodge Charger RT Snap Kit. This is the uh, Coca-Cola version of the kit that we've done. So some of the cool features for this. Uh, it does come with really nice uh, decal sheet. This Coca-Cola decal sheet. And we have uh, actually molded the glass in Coke bottle green, which is a cool feature that we, uh, you know, for, for these Coke releases. And there's a look, uh, look at the parts tree for this kit as well. And then lastly, we have the 1969 Yanko Chevy Camaro kit. So there's a couple cool features with this. Um, you get a couple different hoods. You can do an SS hood, Yanko hood, the detailed bucket seats, 427 engine, 
uh, two different tires. You got the wide street tires or the pre-lettered uh, Goodyear tires with uh, five-spoke mags that come with them, and a couple different uh, variations. You can see the Yenko decals that you can add to it as well. So lots of neat stuff for that one, and there's a look at that parts tree also. And then lastly for model kits, we do have another deluxe decal pack that came out. This is the Hostess Trucking Graphics. So uh, it's kind of cool uh, variation. There's kind of different size decals that you can do. So you can do it on a uh, 125th scale truck. There's some smaller decals if you want to do even 164 scale. And it does come with this bonus uh, Hostess Twinkie billboard with Twinkie the Kid on it. So just another cool, uh, cool little decal set and something different you guys can do. So that's everything for model kits. Next, we're gonna jump in and show you guys diecast. Okay, so for 164 diecast, uh, we have a new Johnny Lightning release for you guys. This is our latest Street Freaks uh, release. So first off in this one, uh, we do have the Zinger. This is the 1973 Pontiac GTO. And this is actually the first time we've ever done a 73 GTO as a Zinger. So two variations for this. Here's the... Uh, the blue version here, the bad GTO on the side of it. Pretty cool graphics. Got that blue, uh, blue color with the white top, white vinyl top on it. And version B here is in Zinger red hot stuff color. So it's uh, it's red. It's got that uh, copper uh, top for it. Yellow uh, yellow line on the tires, and just another pretty cool graphic uh, variation for that one. And next up, this is number two, the Bug Bomb. So what's cool about this, this is actually one of the uh, commemorative uh, castings that Playing Mantis did back in 1994. So this casting hasn't been seen for about 25 years. Uh, and we actually amped up the detail. Uh, we've got rubber tires on it, lots of cool stuff for that. So here's version A uh, in red. And version B, this really great looking teal metallic color here so just a cool looking car for that one next up this is in the blacked out series the 1971 Dodge Demon 340 first one here is gloss black got black wheels white letter tires black interior basically the definition of a blacked out car and the other version here in, uh, formal black but it's got the uh, some white stripes white interior uh, white wheels with the black centers in them and next up for Street Freaks this is in our next in our series of demolition derby cars this is the 1977 Chevy Monte Carlo stock car so what's cool about this using the stock car casting we you uh, got the window net and some other like really cool features in it so the first version here is in a bright green with that black black primer look on it chalked looking 86 letters on it and uh one of the cool things too is on the tires here you can see how it's got the uh the dirt pattern on the on the bottom of the tires something a little different i thought was really cool and the other version b here and uh what's what we're calling leftover purple mix and primer gray so, just another cool variation for that, for the Demo Derby cars. Next is the Projects in Progress cars. So we got two versions for this one. Uh, first one here, this version A, is actually in a, a custom gunmetal metallic, and this is based on a, uh, it's a replica of an actual project car that was owned um, by a, a local guy here uh, up in Michigan named Chris. Uh, so he got his car, it was kind of a wreck, and he redid a lot of stuff on it, and here's a a variation of of a before on the uh, on a project in progress. So this is in a uh, light blue poly. It's got the red door, primered front end on it. Just some of those cool uh, project in progress features on there. And then lastly, uh, for our import heat releases, this is the 1996 Honda Civic Custom. So the first version of here is a uh, golden copper metallic. It's got those gold wheels, uh, white letter tires with the uh, black lip, black side skirts, and the carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber uh, rear hatch on the back as well. And the version B, really cool looking and luscious magenta. 
So that's uh, another great looking car. Got the uh, got the carbon fiber hood and the carbon fiber hatch as well. Black wheels with the chrome lip. Just a great looking uh, look for that one. So that's everything for 164th. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys 118. All right, so first off for 118, um, we've got two cars for you guys that are both uh, part of our Muscle Car and Corvette National Series. This first one is the 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner in this gorgeous purple color, the white interior on it. Uh, this is a other limited edition run, opening doors, hood and trunk, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, and precise accuracy. And uh, as with all of our Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, this is based on an actual car that was owned by uh, someone who was showing it at the uh, at the event. So these owners were Dan and Amy Hodorowski. And some of the, this car actually, the real car has a really cool story where it was bought new in 71 and then returned after six months to the dealership, was stolen. The engine was taken out of it. It returned again, was supposed to be made into a race car, never happened. Ended up sitting in a field for years until the owner picked it up in 94 and restored it completely found all those parts and, and restored it and now it's a great example of a car so just a cool story and one that's really nice to uh to replicate just cars that have a great background like that and next for our uh for our releases this is another muscle car and corvette national the 1971 plymouth gtx it's a great looking uh yellow color on this one it's got white interior that black top on it uh, 440 six-pack car, opening doors and hood, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, and precise accuracy. Uh, this particular car, also uh, being part of our Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals uh, cars, it was part of the Tim Wellborn collection um, and was recently sold at Meekum and has been featured in uh, Mopar Collector's Guide and a couple other magazines too. Uh, and is known as one of the best surviving examples of a 1971 Plymouth GTX. So. Another really cool car with a really cool history. And that's everything for 118. Lastly, we're gonna jump in and show you guys the slot car release. All right, so for uh, slot cars, we've got a Thunderjet release. It's a Thunderjet Barnes Fine release. And there's a couple pretty neat things about this release. First off, starting off uh, with these Barn Fine cars, we have partnered up with Graveyard Cars, the guys over at Graveyard Cars, and done a couple really cool Mopar Barn Finds. So, for those of you guys who don't watch the show, they find a lot of neglected Mopars, build them back up, make them into great looking, uh, running, driving, awesome examples of, of cars. So we've kind of started on the on the before process and uh, brought graveyard cars in as part of our barn find series. So this first one, it's a 1970 Dodge Challenger TA in what used to be purple uh, before it got rusty and just lots of cool de details on this one with all the rust, um, all the, uh, overspray on it all the dirt that's been sitting there and you can kind of see some of the some of the details about the graveyard cars guys and stuff on the back there and then um also second coming up in this release we got one more graveyard cars another mopar the 1969 dodge charger rt so here it is with a an orange with the rusty again rusty look on the outside of it all beat up tan interior and another just really cool Graveyard Cars Mopar. And then next up in the same barn find release, we've got um, the 1966 Volkswagen Beetle. So here's a cool version of that in green. It's got the, uh, the red door, primered fender, red hood, lots of rust, missing headlight, all those cool little details in, a, in an unrestored project that you might find. And next up, the 1959 Chevy Impala in blue. That real flat, faded looking color on it. Again, some rust along all the uh, all the trim. All dusted up and dirty looking. And just another really neat looking car for that. Also in the release, this 1941 Willys Coupe Gasser. Looks like an old neglected Gasser race car. The uh, Lucky 7 Racing here. You can see all the all the cool dirt, de uh, dirt details on it, rust details. Uh, primer looks like raw metal and lastly we've got the 1958 Plymouth Belvedere so here it is here in a uh, in flat green with all those cool rusty dusty details on it as well it's got a red uh, red trunk lid and some other like mismatched pieces on it 
And with all these, we did uh, we actually did the chassis in brown too to add to kind of that dirty, forgotten look. Um, so that's everything we have for this month. Lots of cool stuff for you guys. As always, um, you can go onto our Facebook pages, check out what we got. Go onto our Instagram pages. We'll paste all the uh, I'll put all the links below down for you guys. Thanks again for watching the videos. We'll see you in October.